Hi students! In this video, I'm going to show you how we want you to organize your OneDrive account in Office 365. Now you can get to your OneDrive account <clears throat> in several different ways, um, but this is ultimately the way that we're going to have you organize it regardless of how you get to your OneDrive account. If you've already downloaded your OneDrive account in, uh, to your desktop and you've synced it, then you could select the file down here and you could select your OneDrive account or from your um, class link account you would select the Office 365 and you have one <laughs> sorry and you have OneDrive right here and you would select OneDrive on your iPad if you've downloaded OneDrive onto an iPad then you would select your OneDrive account and make sure it's you that's logged in if you're sharing a device instead of your sibling. Now, whichever device you have, I want you to go ahead and select New and then Folder. Enter your folder name, which is going to be um, third grade 2020-21, okay? And then you would hit create, and you will see it up here. Now your fire files are always going to be organized in alphabetical order. If you were um, using the little file icon down here to set it up, then you have new folder up here as an option. Now eventually my OneDrive here will sync to my folder and that um, that file I just created will show up. So you would select new folder. Oh, look, see, it's already, it's synced. It's already down here. And then you would type in the same thing, okay? I'll just leave that new folder there for, for right now. Now, in that third grade 2020-2021, I'm going to click on it to open it up. I want you to select new again. And folder. You have to make sure you're in the third grade 2020-21 folder. We're going to organize and create separate files for each subject area. Okay? So you'll have a folder for math. Create. New. Folder. Science. Create. Reading, create. ELA, which is your writing course, create. And then social studies, create. And that's how we want you to set up your OneDrive account. There may be times when you need to um, download a file from your Canvas course, type something in it, save it to your OneDrive, and then upload it again to your course, and you just need to make sure you're saving it to the correct course. All right, and I'll show you how to do that in another video. If you have any questions, please let us know.